How long can you survive on the planets of the solar system? Our solar system, a collection of the sun, eight planets, and countless other celestial bodies, has always been a source of endless inspiration for both science and fiction. While life on Earth averages about 80 years, survival on other planets is vastly shorter, often only a few seconds. What creates this stark contrast? This article provides a detailed analysis of human survival time on each planet in the solar system, from the thermonuclear impacts of the sun to the immense pressure forces on gas giants. Earth, the home of life. Earth is the only celestial body in the solar system where humans can survive long term without the aid of advanced technology. As the third planet from the Sun, it boasts an oxygen-rich atmosphere and essential life-supporting elements like water, fertile soil, and a relatively stable temperature environment. Living Conditions on Earth Earth's protective atmosphere consists of approximately 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% other gases such as argon and carbon dioxide. This layer not only provides the necessary oxygen for respiration, but also shields us from harmful solar radiation and minor meteoroids. The diverse climates, from tropical to polar regions, offer a variety of living conditions and support a wide range of biodiversity. Approximately 71% of Earth's surface is covered by water, mostly in oceans. Water is crucial for life, supporting biochemical processes within living organisms. On average, humans live about 80 years, with some people living longer in blue zones, areas known for significantly higher longevity due to healthy lifestyles and optimal nutrition. These regions include Okinawa, Japan, Sardinia, Italy, and Loma Linda, California, USA. The Sun, a gigantic energy sphere. Composition primarily hydrogen, 74%, and helium, 24%, with heavier elements making up about 2%. Nuclear fusion in the core converts hydrogen into helium, releasing massive amounts of energy. Survival, approaching the sun, would result in immediate vaporization due to the extreme temperature and intense radiation. As Neil deGrasse Tyson explains, you would be vaporized immediately. Survival time, less than one second. Mercury. The extreme planet temperature. Atmosphere. Very thin, primarily composed of helium and hydrogen, insufficient to protect from solar radiation or maintain stable temperatures. The huge temperature differences on Mercury's surface create a very limited survival environment. If you could stand on the boundary between day and night and hold your breath, you might survive for a very short time, about two minutes. Venus, the hellish planet. Hotter than Mercury despite being further from the sun. This is due to an extreme greenhouse effect caused by the thick CO2 atmosphere. Atmosphere extremely thick, mostly carbon dioxide with sulfuric acid clouds. Atmospheric pressure is about 92 times that of Earth. The intense pressure and extreme temperatures make Venus a deadly environment for humans. Survival time, less than one second. Mars, the red planet. The thin atmosphere cannot retain heat, resulting in significant temperature fluctuations between day and night. Atmosphere, mainly carbon dioxide, 95%, with some nitrogen and argon. Atmospheric pressure is only about 0.6% of Earth's. Although extremely cold, the thin air lessens the feeling of cold. With warm clothing and protective gear, survival would only be possible for a brief period. About two minutes. Jupiter, the gas giant composition, primarily hydrogen and helium, with a large rocky or metallic core. Atmosphere, thick and turbulent, with increasing pressure at greater depths. 
Massive storms like the Great Red Spot could engulf Earth. On Jupiter, you would continuously fall into the dense atmosphere and eventually be crushed by immense pressure. Survival time, less than one second. Saturn, the planet with rings. Similar to Jupiter, with hydrogen and helium predominating, Saturn's rings consist mainly of ice and dust. Atmosphere, thick, with layers of ammonia, water and methane clouds. As with Jupiter, you would be crushed by the atmospheric pressure upon falling into Saturn's atmosphere. The rings do not offer any stable surface to stand on. Survival time, less than one second. Uranus, the ice giant, one of the coldest planets. Atmosphere, mostly hydrogen, helium, and a significant amount of methane, giving it its blue color. The freezing temperatures and high pressure in Uranus's atmosphere would crush and freeze you. Survival time, less than one second. Neptune, the stormy planet, the atmosphere is frigid with fierce storms. Composition primarily hydrogen, helium, and methane. Large storms on this planet have wind speeds up to 300 menopi to 100 kilometers. Similar to Uranus, you would be crushed and frozen by the extreme pressure and low temperatures. Survival time. Less than one second. Pluto, the dwarf planet, icy surface primarily composed of nitrogen with a thin atmosphere. The extremely low temperatures and thin atmosphere of Pluto make it inhospitable. Survival time less than one second. The solar system, with its diverse planetary characteristics, highlights the uniqueness of Earth in supporting life. From extreme temperatures to immense pressures, nowhere else in the solar system offers conditions favorable for long-term human survival like Earth does. Understanding these harsh environments not only underscores the fragility of life, but also fuels efforts to explore and potentially settle in space in the future. The analysis of survival time on each planet in the solar system not only provides scientific insight into the extreme environments beyond Earth, but also conveys profound meanings regarding Earth's unique position, the importance of technology in space exploration, and the challenges of extraterrestrial settlement. Primarily Earth's ideal conditions, an oxygen-rich atmosphere, stable temperatures, and abundant water, are essential for life, allowing humans to live an average of about 80 years. This starkly contrasts with other planets, where survival time is mere seconds due to extreme conditions like Mercury's and Venus's scorching temperatures or the immense pressure and violent storms on gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn. These conditions make survival on other planets impossible without advanced protective and life-supporting technologies. Furthermore, the analysis underscores the necessity of space technology, including spacesuits and complex life support systems for ensuring the safety of astronauts. Surviving in space without these protective technologies would result in immediate catastrophic consequences. This suggests that before considering settlement on other planets like Mars, a plan pursued by visionaries like Elon Musk, there must be the development of effective safety measures and technologies. Currently, the environmental conditions on any other planet do not support long-term life without complex protective measures, highlighting the importance of thorough and safe preparation. This analysis also emphasizes Earth's unique place in the solar system. Elements such as the protective atmosphere and abundant water not only make Earth the only place for long-term survival, but also remind us of the fragility and preciousness of this environment. This understanding promotes awareness of the need to protect Earth's environment and resources to ensure the survival of future generations. Finally, the information about the harsh conditions on other planets 
also drives the search for extraterrestrial life in more habitable environments. Research into the viability of life in harsh conditions can expand our understanding of astrobiology and the possibility of life beyond Earth. Simultaneously, these descriptions serve as a warning about the potential dangers of space travel. Exploring and settling on other celestial bodies require careful preparation and advanced protective technologies to avoid fatal risks from extreme environmental conditions. That's all the information that we have for you today. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's episode, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell so you never miss out on future episodes. And be sure to also tell us what you think about today's content. Everyone's support motivates us to continue delivering quality content and to always improve. As always, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.